Hello world, this is What's Up 2190, and today I'm going to show you how to bypass your school or office's internet security. This will let you get to any blocked website at your school or at your office. Now let me put out a bit of a short disclaimer. I am not at fault if you get in trouble for this. Now the thing is, I've been watching a lot of video on how to bypass the, any website block at your school or office using Tor and most of those videos don't even mention a lot of the stuff you might have to do so I thought I'd make this video so if you don't already have the Tor browser what you're going to want to do is go to torproject.org download Tor I, it should automatically pick up whether you have a Mac or a Windows and uh, Just download that to wherever you want. And, uh, but I'm not going to download it because I already have it. And, uh, hold on a minute. I'm just going to close it like this so I can show you. Uh, and then, once you've got the Tor browser on your computer, you're going to want to open it. And this window will pop up. And it's going to say, like, it's connecting to the Tor network, all that stuff. And uh, if it does manage just to get to a point where the green onion pops up and it says it's connected to the Tor network, then uh, you're good to go. But here's the thing, it might not be able to connect to the Tor network. And the reason for that is because so, a lot of schools and offices are starting to figure out ways to block the Tor network now. So, yeah. What you're gonna, there's a way you can use Tor even though it's been blocked though. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to, you're just gonna wanna click set up relaying on this little panel right here then you want to click the one that says sh network and then you should try selecting this you should select this one because it could be that they're blocking what ports you're connecting to and uh, if that still doesn't work or if you think that they're just blocking the Tor network you you could also sl try selecting this one that says my ISP blocks connections to the Tor network and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find bridges. So I'm going to show you one way. So this way, the one way to get bridges is to uh, open Safari. And uh, you, you have to have a either Gmail or a Yahoo Mail account to do this, otherwise they'll just block it. And you're going to want to... Log in to your email, and you're going to want to send an email to Bridges at torproject.org you're going to want to set the subject to get bridges then don't 
then just leave this email blank from here on out. Then send the email. And then in a few minutes it should email you back with some bridge relays. And once you've got this email back, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to come back to this uh, this thing, and then you're going to want to paste these bridges in. So paste one bridge, add it, paste one bridge. Add it. Add it. And then you're done adding bridges. Now you're going to want to add as many of these bridges as possible. Because if they start blocking bridges, that if they block your bridges, then you won't be able to use Tor. So once you've done that, all, added all your bridges, click OK. And then you just start your Tor, and it will connect to the Tor network via the bridge. And then you should be able to use Tor even if your um, office or school has blocked it. And then and then there's one other thing. Another possibility is that they could be blocking Tor via DPI, in which case using bridges won't really work. So, if that's the case, then what you can do is you can download Office Proxy. Which, um... which uh, can be found on this page and uh, as you can see they have taken down the uh, download links for office proxy be but it's basically just the Tor browser the version of it it's the same program except for it disguises Tor browser traffic to look like traffic from another program so um, yeah see they're taking down the download links for now but they should put them, back, put them back up soon but yeah there's all these different disguising programs that are basically the Tor browser except for it looks like Skype more except for it will look like a different program there's Skype morph and uh, all these other ones I'll put the link in this description so you can check them out anyway one thing I should mention is that you cannot use flash player over Tor but there is a way you can watch YouTube videos which I'll show you how to do So in the Tor browser, you're going to want to go to this window and then just click join the HTML5 trial and then you should be able to watch most YouTube videos. Some don't work. Anyway, that's about it for this video. This I hope you enjoyed it. This is Wasup290 and I am signing off. Have a nice day.